Hi, welcome to my eMath online Abacus classes. In this video, we are uh, discussing about uh, how to find the square root of a given number. Uh, let us suppose consider a number 676 and I will teach you the formal method which was used in mathematics. How to find a square root. So consider an example 676 and now we are going to find out the six, uh, square root of a 676 in formal method. In method. Uh, from this number <coughs> there are three digits available. First of all we have to make this number given number as a pairs from right side from right hand side so that is the first thing we have to do from right side okay so now i am writing 76 and 6 fine this is called pairs so this is a pair and 6 is a separate pair from right hand side we have to do this procedure after doing this one write the one okay after doing pairs we are going to discuss uh, to find out the square root in a formal mathematic way so write down 676 and make a point dot here so later first this number is divided as a 6 and 76 okay fine and you have to say some kind of you have you already know we have to know the square values okay so 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 so observe this 6 and 3 square is 9 I will make here 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 this number 6 will between these two numbers fine so that's the reason we are taking this 2 here as a result and write down 2 also here 2 2's are how much 4 write down 4 and subtract from 676 now how much 6 minus <coughs> 6 minus 4 is 2 and drop down the remaining uh, digits also now the number is 276 as a second step you have to double this number double it double this number how much it was 4 fine you have to place a number here this is the final and last very important step you have to place another digit here in these two places that will make the product 276 that will break this number fine for this we have to observe the last digit what is the last digit 6 so now again uh, make 4 square how much it is 16 make 5 square and this is 25 and make 6 square that is 36 and make 7 square 49 8 square 64 9 square 81 and 10 square you know it is 100 so out of these square values which number will give the last digit as a 6 so take a look at here this number this number has this number is 16 4 square is 16 the last digit is 6 also this one 6 square 
which is 36 and last digit is also so that means out of these two numbers one is our result fine okay let us cross check these results take a look at here I am taking 6 as a here the value 6 I am taking 6 and this number is 46 now what you are doing is multiply this 6 with with this entire 46 multiplying 46 6 is how much 6 6 is we know it is 36 fine 6 4s are 24 and plus 3 27 so 276 the remainder is 0 that means this one is our answer so square root of 676 is 26 this is a formal method fine now we are discussing the same problem in abacus rule but it little a bit uh, different uh, later you will find why i am telling different uh, scenario is same first of all make 676 on the tool 676 Make 676 on the center rod. Okay. 6, 7, and uh, 6. Okay, do one thing. I am placing this from here. Let's suppose assume this is the center rod. 6, 7, 6. Now we are going to find out the square root of this number. As uh, as we discussed earlier, first we have to find the nearest square root of this pair, first pair. This is second pair. 76 is second pair. First pair is 6. Okay. So nearest square is 2. Leave two rods. Leave two rods from the from this number and place 2 and 2 to the 4 release 4 from this 6 so here we are using a complement rule minus complement rule um, leaving 4 from 6 minus 5 plus 1 okay now the result is 276 okay we have to double this number so 2 I am doubling so it is now 4 and we have to place another value here and what, what we are going to do is the last digit is 6 here also we have to um, assume the numbers we have to think uh, thinking the numbers now the pair is let us suppose consider uh, 6 we make 6 here and multiply these two numbers together 46 that is the next step multiplying 4 6 is at 24 now release from here 2 and releasing 4 from here so 1 up 5 up okay now the number is 36 okay now you have to multiply this is 6 with itself 6 is 6 are 36 now it is also released from the 2. Now what, what is the last step is so this rod has a, shows 4 just divide with 2. Divide with 2 become 4 divided by 2 how much? 2 only. You have to divide this only not 6 also. Okay. This rod would be divided with the 2. Now the answer is 26. Fine. Right? 